Happy Labor Day, y'all. Happy Labor Day. I'm over here at the house trying to stop myself from working. It's hard to stop from working, at least for me. I feel guilty when I'm not working. I try to rest. I try to relax. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think I'm addicted to working. But um, I did chill today. I did get some barbecue. So I'm good. About to take the kids to go hang out. Thank you, Bishop. My Red Bull. Thank you. Shouldn't even be drinking this, but I'm going to drink it anyway. But yeah, this is not going to be a long video. This is my son, Bishop. This is my older son. Say hello, Bishop. Hello. So what I want to talk to, to you guys about real quick, we're going to talk about what you need to sacrifice to go to the next level. And real quick, let me get a drink. One of the things that you have to sacrifice to go to the next level is your is the old you. Yes, the old you. <coughs> or the current you. Better put, you're going to have to sacrifice the current you because the, the current person can't do the stuff that you want to do tomorrow, next week, next year. And that's one of the hardest things to do, to let go of your old habits, your tendencies. We have a way of doing things over and over and over again on autopilot. And because of this, we get the same results. And we get frustrated and mad, like, man, I'm doing all this work, but nothing is changing. And the key is, you need to change. If you want change, you have to change. Simply put, got to change your patterns of behavior, change what you're reading, change what you're doing, change what you're thinking, change what you're eating. Um, you got to switch things up. You got to change up the format. Bishop, huh? they don't want to see all that. It's supposed to be a professional video. And you over here making me look bad. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. But you got to switch things up. Like I got my son on my shoulder. We switching it up today. On Labor Day. Switching things up. So, um, simply put, you're just going to have to leave your comfort zone. You got to leave your comfort zone. So, whether it's in business, personal life, you're trying to lose weight. Man, it sucks to not eat the stuff that you like to eat. I know, I get it. I go through the same thing. Uh, man, it sucks not to go to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> First thing in the morning, get my coffee and donuts. Got to switch it up. Got to change it up, y'all. Got to get disciplined. Oh, man. I don't want to do a fast. You know, I don't want to do it. Uh, a 12 hour fast, 16 hour fast. Got to switch it up. Man, I don't want to read this book or I don't want to study these videos or take this course, X, Y, Z, stay up all night doing this. <laughs> Got to do it. Do you really want to change or you just want to talk about it? So that's the thing. I think a lot of people love I think people love to talk about change more than more than they like doing change. They love to talk about it. You know, they'll take the course, they'll get the information, and when it comes to implementation, nah, I ain't doing nothing. They just like talking about it. Telling people, they love to tell people, oh, I'm in school. Oh, I'm working on my master's. Oh, I love working on this PhD, you know? And that's another thing a lot of people do. A lot of people go to school to prevent actually doing what they're supposed to do. That's a whole nother conversation. I'm not trying to offend anyone today. Nothing against y'all going to school or anything like that, but some people go to school to stall. Mm -hmm. The reason why I know this, because that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I'm like one class away from a second master's. 
And, uh, you know, I decided to stop because mm -hmm. I just really went, didn't want to, I didn't want to go to school. I was just stalling. I was just trying to figure things out back in the day. Didn't know what I wanted to do. But uh, that's a whole nother story for a different day. But I want you guys to make sure that you're doing stuff towards your business and executing because that's why you guys are here. It's all about execution. It's all about making things happen. Um, it's all about thinking about your legacy. Like my son here, this is my oldest son. He's this is Bishop. He's uh, six years old. Well, yeah. I, yesterday yeah. I was five. Yeah, you was five not too long ago. Uh, you, uh, we was five like a week ago. So um, I have two sets of twins, ages six and five. So it's all about, you know, making sure sure that they're good. It's not about me anymore. It's all about making sure that my babies are good and they're not going to have anything to worry about. So um, I don't want to be a burden on them when I get older as well. So when I get older, when I'm retired, I want to be chilling and they don't have to worry about daddy, that daddy took care of business. He, you know, put his money away. He also, um, uh, set my, set them up properly. So they're not struggling for nothing and, um, being disciplined. So that's what I want you guys to think about your legacy. Okay. And how you're going to affect people, uh, now and later is important. Um, Think about your health. You gotta sacrifice who you were. I mean, I didn't realize that not too long ago, I was killing myself. If you guys look at some of my old videos, you guys can tell I was bigger. You know, I gained all this weight um, during the pandemic. I suffered from that pandemic depression. And I think even before that, you know, I got comfortable with life, started making a whole bunch of money and started chilling. Snacking, doing the Uber Eats, and man, I was pre-diabetic, and I was getting all these weird aches and pains, and peeing, peeing throughout the, the night. Couldn't even sleep throughout the night because I was waking up peeing all the time. So it was insane. It was insane. A whole bunch of stuff was going on, but I said, you know what? Time to make a change. Get on my regimen. Got to kill the old me. Killed the old guy, got rid of him. Now it's all about elevation. And that's what I want y'all to do. Elevate personally, professionally. Take it to another level. Do it when you don't feel like it. Because to grow, it's gonna, there's, there's going to be some pain. Think about it when you go to the gym, you work out. You got to go through that sore phase. And then you also got to go through that phase where you're not seeing any change. You're not seeing any change at all. It's like, man, I'm doing all this working out. I'm on, I'm hitting a scale and it's not changing. And, and sometimes you hit that scale after you've been working out and then, and you gain weight. You're like, hold on, what, what's going on? I'm gaining weight after I did all this work at the gym. And then one day, all of a sudden, boom, your body responds and starts shedding. That's the same way with business. That is the same way with business. One day, your body, you just keep on doing it. Just keep on doing it. And you let the universe or God know that, hey, I ain't going nowhere. I made a decision. I have decided. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm stubborn. Something's going to have to happen for you. And you're going to get your break. And it's going to grow and grow and grow. But you got to wait it out. You have to wait it out. Okay. Um, please understand that you also have to do things when other people are chilling and relaxing. <laughs> I do a lot while everyone's on vacation. Like it's Labor Day right now. I'm on this. I'm doing a Zoom or not a Zoom call, but a live video. Um, by the way, for those that attended VIP day, that was a great VIP day, um, Saturday. 
Um, shout out to those that attended VIP day this past Saturday. That was a great VIP day because um, I mentioned some stuff that I forgot about at the end of, of VIP day. And uh, that was a huge opportunity for y'all to take advantage of that information. Um, but um, shout out to those that made it to VIP day. I'm not sure when I'm doing another one. We have a live training uh, coming up on the October 26th and the 27th at my headquarters for anger management certification training. But anyway, uh, let me get back on topic. But um, I do a lot of work when people are just not looking. When everyone's chilling, when everyone's relaxing, enjoying their, la their Labor Day, uh, when I'm up late at night, I'm researching, I'm trying to get the information. I'm trying to get the advantage. Always looking for the advantage, okay? Always looking for things to, you know, uh, the hidden stuff, I'll say. I'm always looking for the hidden stuff. And, and that's what separ separated me from a lot of people is that I'm always looking for the hidden gems, uh, the hidden cheat codes, um, the things that people are not talking about. Uh, yes, the certifications come with CEs. They come with uh, uh, 12 CEs from NADAC for the anger management and six CEs from NADAC from, for the shoplifting. But um, yeah, if you guys are looking for information, I want you guys to look for information. You know, information has always helped me get ahead. We're educated, but we lack the information that takes you to the next level. Remember this, education will get you in the front door, but information will get you in the back door where the real money is, okay? You always seeking that inside information. There's a whole bunch of college professors, uh, people in different industries that know they, they have the education, but they lack the information. And that information, that secret information, that stuff, those career paths, those niches that people are not talking about, that are not discussing, that's what can get you over the hump. That will get you the breakthrough. Okay? And um, I'm here to help you guys get that breakthrough. We have to have a, a sales mindset, okay? A sales mindset. Gotta have it. You gotta have a marketing and sales mindset. We have to get out of that counselor mindset. That counselor mindset can get you in trouble. If you're in business, because remember, this is a business, y'all. Do you want to make money or do you just want to, you know, starve? So you have to have that business, sales, marketing mindset. Do not be afraid to, to, to um, charge for your services. Don't give away services for free. Um, provide value. You're still going to provide great value. You're going to provide great customer service. You're um, going to over deliver. You're going to do all that stuff. But you also, um, you have to make a living. So understand that, okay? We have to get out of that counselor mindset. That counselor mindset is keeping a lot of people broke and a lot of people don't want to leave that identity. Okay, you have to be willing to lead that identity. Um, for those that also, real quick, um, those that attended VIP Day One, um, please check your mail. Those that attended VIP Day One, please check your mail because I got something in that box that I sent you guys uh, that addresses your identity. And if anyone's watching this from VIP Day One, uh, you know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you guys open your box, okay? Open your box from VIP day one. And uh, there's an, a special shirt in there that is um, addressed to you to hopefully change your identity because it's all about having a different identity, a paradigm shift and a different belief system knowing that, hold on, hold on, hold on, I do not. I identify as a, a rich therapist. I, I identify as a rich social worker. 
as a rich counselor, I am a, um, you know, I'm a mogul, I'm an entrepreneur, but an entrepreneur that actually makes some money, that actually believes in sales and marketing and put myself out there and talking to people and getting on video and getting on camera, taking photos, okay? Uh, 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 advertising my services to the different court mandated providers. Because here's another thing. For those of you guys that speak Spanish, I would go to the um, all the court mandated providers in your area and um, basically offer uh, services in Spanish to them. You say, hey, send all your Spanish people to me. I go to every DUI school, DWI school, every other court mandated provider that does anger management and, and say, hey, send all your people to me. We have to put ourselves out there. You have to. You have to, but you got to do the work. You got to do the work when you're not getting paid for it. And understand you'll get paid for it later. You know, when I do these videos, I don't get paid for these videos, but I get paid for them later. So you have to be willing to do the work when you're not getting paid to get paid later. Okay. Very important. Do the, do the work now. Like for example, I, I'll give you guys a perfect example because we're being transparent. I'll get people that have never seen me before watch one of my videos on Facebook and then sign up for a VIP day. I did this, I did a, a, a free 20 minute, 30 minute video or um, hour video or whatever. And then they sign up for a VIP day, never seen me before. They see me or maybe seen uh, maybe a couple of my free videos and say, you know what? I like this guy. I think he knows what he's talking about. Let me just see what he's talking about. And they'll sign up for a VIP day. I had several people sign up for the VIP days this past Saturday. That, that's how they found me. They saw me on Facebook. They saw a couple of videos. Um, not even on my email list. So you do the work when people are not even looking. You do the work when you're not getting paid for it. It's going to pay you back, okay? And then provide value, you know? You're not just going to give some, like, watered-down surface-level stuff. Provide value that's going to actually help people get over the hump. Also, one of the things I like to talk to talk to you guys about is about is is um, being an entrepreneur is not easy. A lot of times you're the bad guy. Uh, if you're a boss, you know your sometimes your your employees they hate you. You know because that's just the nature of what it is. They don't like you. They got they talk behind your back, all kinds of stuff. They smile on your face, act like they like you. Some steal from you. <laughs> you find that stuff out, then you gotta let them go. Uh, you do uh, help your employees out. They dog you out. Then you got some employees that do great work for you, you know. And then you got to manage, hold people accountable. That's another thing. People are not, you, if you're a boss for the first time, you know, you got to hold people accountable, fire people. Everybody's not about that life. So you got to ask yourself, is this something that you really want to do? Because you're going to have to step into that arena and let people go hold people accountable um or when people quit on you oh that's another thing oh sometimes you have people that you really like and they quit and that really hurts because it's like man why'd you quit like what did i do and it's like you didn't do anything wrong it's just like they're there for a reason and a season and uh one of my mentors uh, told me he said he said all employees have an expiration date and you gotta be okay with it and once he said that I was like you know what you're right so now when people leave you know if they quit I'm like all right cool that's their expiration date see you wish you the best of luck and on to the next but I used to get offended especially if it was people I like and really wanted them to stay because I've had some uh, decent people that I was like, man, I just had to, I just one girl, she was a superstar. I don't know why she left. I was like, man, she's tripping. She was a superstar. I had a couple of superstars. I had one superstar I had to fire. I had two superstars I had to, I had to fire. And then one superstar quit. Um, 
these are the ups and downs of being an entrepreneur, having employees. I don't even know how many employees I've had in my business. I've been in business now for, uh, what is it, 12 years now? Something like that, 12 years, 15, something, 12, 15 years, I don't know. It's hard to say. I have unofficial years and I have official years. But I want you guys to understand. These are the things that you go through. You go through periods of insecurity. Uh, you go through periods of not being able to pay yourself. Uh, you know, are you built for that? You, you know, you got to make sure that the rent is covered, payroll is covered. That's if you have payroll. If, you, if you're a, a one man show, one woman show, uh, it's easier to manage. So if you're just running it by yourself, I mean, your expenses are extremely low, especially if you're running it from a home office and you have virtual offices and um, yeah, your overhead is super low. But other than that, once you start to scale and you start to grow, you got to deal with, you know, personnel attitudes and, you know, um, good days, bad days, because some days you're not feeling it. Some days you're the one with the attitude. You might have something going on. You know, there's days where I come in the office and I'm just quiet, you know, and they're like, damn, something wrong with him because he's quiet. What's going on with him? And it's like I got, you know, dealing with some internal stuff, dealing with uh, some stuff I'm working on. Like I remember I was working on like four grants uh, earlier last month and I was just zoned in. I wasn't talking to nobody. They thought it, people thought I was mad at them and I wasn't mad. I was just zoned in. It's like Derek is not talking. He about to fire somebody. What's going on? Nope. I was just zoned in. I was locked in. I'm locked in on these grants. I make sure I get the stuff done. Get it done properly because I want this money. So just locked in. And people are going to read you wrong. You know, that's going to happen. Um, you're going to read people wrong. Happens all the time. You know? That's just the nature of business. These are the things that people do not talk about that I wish they would talk about. They talk about like, you know, entrepreneurship is so fun and it's glamorous and all, man, it's ups and downs. It's like a roller coaster. Ups and downs. One minute you're up, next minute you're like, oh my God, you know, it's, it's down. And then you're back up again. It's, um, it's never really just steady you always have to stay on top of things it can be very um uh, stressful for the new people and i used to meditate um back in the day every day when i first started i used to meditate uh meditate what i'm going to teach about meditate how my day is going to go <laughs> that really helps by the way and i started getting back into it uh recently started meditating again started visualizing I follow a guy uh, named Bob Proctor. When I first started my business, uh, he's he's dead and gone now, but you can watch a lot of his videos on YouTube. Uh, he talks about the subconscious mind, the conscious mind, and the, um, your self-identity. And um, once you can change your self-identity and control your subconscious mind, that's when everything changes. I want you guys to understand once you start doing that and change your identity and your belief systems, once you change your belief systems, you start doing different things. You start talking to different people. You start uh, reading different things. You start exposing yourself to different things and things just start changing. All right. But um, I'll say that to say this. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Happy Labor Day. Uh, we have VIP day. Don't know when I'm doing it again. Uh, if you guys are interested, contact my team, 404-503-8069. If you guys are interested in doing another one of those. But um, I have some exciting stuff coming out this uh, this month. So I look forward to uh, having a huge, a huge announcement on uh, September 26th. Uh, for those of us that are here in Georgia... I look forward to having a huge announcement for you guys, as well as um, providing service. So if you guys need me for anything, if you guys want to collaborate on something, let me know. Collaboration over competition. You guys want to collaborate? Y'all want to make something happen? 
uh, you guys want to leverage me, but say you say, hey, Derek, I got this training, but you got products, you got books, let's sell, let's do a joint venture together. If you're serious, let's do it. If um, Only if you're serious though. I only wanna work with people that are serious and they're not playing around, that are really about that life. You know, let's go get a bag together, okay? Y'all wanna get a hundred grand together? Let's go get it. We can have a hundred K day together. You know, damn the 100K year, let's get a 100K day. Let's do it together, you know, because um, I don't want to be the only one doing it. Let's do a 100K day. I'm, I'm looking to partner with people and collaborate with people. And if you guys know of anything that, you know, I can speak at or join a podcast. If you guys have a podcast, I would love to speak on your podcast. I would love to uh, come to your city, come to your town. I would love to uh, just break bread with people, uh, share knowledge, and help each other out. This is all about growth, okay? There's enough money for everyone, so let's get it together, all right? If you guys have any questions, we got, oh, I forgot to say, Business in a Box. Business in a Box program is on sale right now, half off, half off. Go to the divergentcenter.com, click on online classes. Look up Business in a Box Level 2. It's half off right now. Get it. Sale ends tomorrow. Half off right now. Um, and you can finance it. Buy now, pay later options. But yeah, let's get some money together. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see you maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, today is Monday. I'm tripping. I'll see y'all Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm not sure. But uh, y'all be great. All right, later.